What's up, my know-it-alls? Is that, that's how you start it. What's up, my know-it-alls? Yeah, that's right. What's up, my know-it-alls? That's right. It's that time again, Thursday morning, and we're talking about our favorite show, uh, Star Trek Lower Decks. Specifically, uh, we're looking at a fun, fun-filled, action-packed episode, uh, which specific... <laughs> what a weird episode this was. Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> it was weird. Episode 7, A Mathematically Perfect Redemption. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, good. It's just no, just... no, no, go. <laughs> Episode 7. Uh, so it's a. You get this weird callback to Peanut Hamper, which. Uh, from a previous season. And are you. Were you from, did, you did you remember Peanut no, Hamper? No, I remember okay. Peanut Hamper. Um, they did a little, like, flashback. Yeah. Really quickly and like what happened basically I don't remember which like which specific episode but like it was when the Cerritos was gonna like explode or something and so she had the opportunity to save everyone she goes mm, no and then just kind of like dashes out of there and like uh yeah now if you're watching this episode uh don't be fooled uh baby know it all did not voice the character of peanut hamper because lord knows they sound very similar do you really? Oh my gosh, it's so much. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. But uh, yeah, uh, so then we continue with the aftermath of that old episode. Where, and uh, Peanut Hammer's floating in space, and then all of a sudden finds a planet that gets sucked down into and crashes, and they meet bird people. Uh, the the Areolians. Areolians? Areolians? I don't know. Anyways, it's very, very It's probably odd. where that green bird came from. I don't no. know. Maybe it's just because they're both bird people. <laughs> right on. So, uh, yeah. These uh, these aliens are considered to be pre-warp, and uh, they are, uh, apparently their ancestors have warned of technology, and so they're uh, concerned, and Peanut Hamper's being Peanut Hamper-y, and then eventually gets to know the head of the village's son. I don't remember his name. And it turns awkward. Oh my gosh, no, they're... They're weird. It's a very strange scenario. Uh, and uh, apparently they get married. No, no they didn't. They were going to get married. And then oh. a bunch of, uh, what were they called? I almost called them the, the Morkians. It's not the, <laughs> did you say the Morkians? No, I said the Morkians. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, right, right, yes, yes. So uh, I have the actual thing here. Where was I going to throw this one? Uh, really? They're getting really like lax and lazy with the. We've gone from three sentences to two sentences to now one sentence descriptions in the log lines for the episode. The episode is a wayward Starfleet ensign struggles to find a path to redemption. Uh, I don't know exactly who to call. But anyways, they yeah. had a bunch of space pirates, um, pretty much yeah. steal their planes, ships. I don't. So the, apparently, this is not a pre warp civilization. They have just shunned technology because of their ancestors. Right. So under the ground, they find these big giant starships. And apparently, sh the uh, they're going to they want to salvage them. Yeah, and then so while that's happening, um, Starfleet uh, gets called. So Starfleet comes to the bird place. The Cerritos. So oh, what? First time since the opening that we've seen them. Oh yeah, yeah. They just weren't there the entire the entire episode. Yeah, this was one of those episodes that focused on someone else completely. Like we're following Peanut Hamper's entire mission, and I'm like. What we is? care about peanut hamper apparently. That's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so they get there and like they're wrecking shop, all that stuff, and then, you know, um, wait, I forgot their name. Which one? Who's the Cerritos? The 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 Aurelia? The uh, or, or, part or? of the Cerritos is down. Tendi, the captain. Yeah. And I forgot his name. But they're all down there, and then they call up. They were like, "Hey, listen, we're gonna be attacked." And then so, then they they call the pirates or whatever and then they were like we got a distress signal from we got a distress signal from the starfleet command that these things were totally available and blah 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 blah, blah. and then so everyone looks at peanut hamper because peanut hamper is peanut hamper and she sucks and <laughs> <laughs> and so then That's she's right. like i i didn't want to stay here but it's not like you were using it 
she's you know, annoying. You, you know, you don't have to do a voice, right? Because I already sound like her. <laughs> Just kidding. So Peter Hammer apparently has dirty as can be. She's the worst. She wants to try to get back into Starfleet, and she realizes if she saves the day, then maybe they'll let her in, and so it's the whole thing's a big manipulation. She is the worst. Oh my 100%. gosh. By the way, this is all during their freaking wedding. Yeah, totally. They were getting, ugh, it's so weird. The whole thing, I don't even yeah. want to talk about it. Anyways, so, so then, um, that happens, and then Bird, <laughs> I wanted to call him Bird Person, that's so no, bad. Totally. No, I'm with you. And then, I was so, like, Bird Person. And then the Bird guy, uh, the husband, the bird guy. and the husband slash son, and he flies one of the spaceships into the thing, he was like, yeah. He's like, forget my ancestors, or he screams something about the ancestors. And then... He flies a bigger ship. A bigger ship than the ones they stole. Yes. And then, so he kind of just slaps into them. Mm hmm And then, you know, they're, they're dead. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and so then yeah, suffice it to say, they uh, they decide they want to... Uh, oh, he doesn't wants nothing to do with Peen and Hamper anymore either at the end of all this. Which is oh, like, yeah, big no, surprise. And she was like, oh my gosh, we did it! And then... That's right. Like, no. Yeah, and then, like you said, he wanted nothing to do with Peanut Hamper. And then she goes, fine, I can go with my Starfleet family. And they're like, yeah, no, we're Not. good. Oh, I forgot that. They locked her in, like, a little robot place. Just kill her, because she's like, I should have called the Borg. I'll destroy all of you, blah, blah, blah. Resistance is futile. She just starts ranting. And then, yeah, they put her, lock her away. Yeah, they lock her away, and then... They have a machine next to her, it's a guessing machine, but then there's another one who's was like super scary and was like, was like, I think we could do really bad things, ha. Huh? And then, then they, it ends with this bad AI laughing like, ah, ha, 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 ha. It's terrible. It's very, I'm like, okay, all right, I see what they did there. So yeah, uh, that was interesting for sure. Again, I don't know what to do with, I, I don't know how you handle uh, interspecies bird and robot mating. But uh, it was very uncomfortable. Super oh my gosh, awkward. she had a bird beak on her what? during the wedding. I don't like. I don't okay, know what sorry. I thought that was sorry. I just remembered that. That was funny. It was fake. It's not like she like talked and it moved. No. Just yep. Yeah. No. It's it's uh, it was bad. So, anyways, uh, it's funny. The 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 they reminded me of the the species reminded me of old like. Space Ghost or uh, style animation, the way they were drawn, is pretty interesting. Anyways, yeah, so there you go. Now you know. If knowing is half the battle, you are halfway to being a know it all yourself. What is the know it all index for you for this week? Um, seven. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. Ah, yeah, seven. I'm going to say seven because we didn't really get to see our people, but it was still a good story. Okay, yeah, I'll go. I'll agree with that. I think I think it's a good fair. I was gonna go six, but now that you, I'm, I'm willing to stay 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 in with everybody and go seven. Uh, I'm down. I have no problem with that. Sizes. Yeah. So all right. Well, we can't wait to see what you guys thought. Comment below. Let us know what you thought. We'd love to. Uh, also, what do you think of our uniforms? Now we are both in uniforms. Yeah, man. Uh, she's got her lower decks on, and I've got my uh, my TNG movies version. But uh, yeah. Hopefully, you know, you guys can have some fun things to say in the comments about this episode because it was a crazy one. So, mm -hmm. we'll, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next week. Never forget. Everybody loves a know-it-all. That's right. Sorry, everyone. Ha. Huh. <laughs> That's what's the problem you have with having catchphrases. <laughs>